To create output for the material distribution for specific areas, we need to connect to those areas. And for example, right here I have my mountain. I want access to all of these properties. Uh, for example of tutorials, I'll just access high field output and a flow map, but you can also create other ones components. So what I want to use it, it is outputs, and I actually want to use it bitmap output. So let's create one. And you notice right here we have the RGB input. If I try connect, I cannot connect to anything. But I want to utilize bitmap because it's allowed to use it alpha input for high map. So to convert this, I need to actually use it node that um, colorizer. So I'm going to put it and I want to use it by default colorizer. I want to use black white. So this is work very well. And in this case, I'm going to connect to colorizer and you notice how it is um, already black but it's not necessarily will work all the time for us so go connect here for example if we connect to this it won't be applied to that area so even we using some effect so like right here and there okay um, so the zone next or I want controlled and the best way to do it is using our layout so if i take my layout and control to the alpha map so now you can see i have it just for this area and the best of all um if i don't do this way it's kind of one size but this has helped me to um oops let me go right here to help me create properly effect the this is we can output as png with transparency if you need for your application but in many cases i just need black and white so you can output as um for example different backdrop and after combine to use it which one you needed okay so i'll just leave it like this and for the next one before I do this i want open and right in this area i want to be sure i specify my file and I want to use the actual PNG for this to preserve transparency um, because I can always come back after in Photoshop and replace if I need it or something. But PNG will provide for me with this transparency effect as well. Okay, so when you're done, let's go click OK. And now what I can do, I can take these two, copy and paste. So now I don't one of the things about this, if I open, my path is safe, my savings is safe, so I can easy to reuse them. And I can go now connect from this. Oops, let's go to connect again. And we can take same connector by bitmap, reopen, and maybe just change height to flow. Okay, so in this case, I have my flow, I have my bitmap. So this is for one node. If you needed other two, you can also include them as well. The next mine, it will be this Warnai one. Okay, so what I'm going to do, same things. I'm going to paste twice. One, and I'll go to connect one here. Flow right there. And I'm going to control on my mask because if you remember right now if we look see it's all of it so except i want to connect to my alpha mask and now we just going going to use this corner so the rest one applied and we're going to do the same for this one okay so let's go ahead and right here instead of a mountain we'll go to peaks Okay, and right here we actually go to Okay, well, let's copy both of them Okay, and I want to do the same for Used for our swampy kind of or a smooth terrace We'll go to connect that one. Okay. And remember, this is layout. It's what we need to use it. So we'll use this one as the mask. Okay. 
um, for my tears, this one, I need just only one. I could actually apply also some other effect, but for the purpose one will do, so I'll just take, paste this right here. We'll connect them directly and take control from our alpha and connect to this place. Okay, let's go be sure we replace this path with terrace. Okay, and we'll need to replace this too. Smooth, okay. Okay, overall we have all those pieces, but for the main map, what I want to do, I want also preserve or from combiner we can output on a high field as well for that. Um, if we look right on some erosions, we can apply, but I think just one high map, which we can reuse also with material distribution for based on the height should work just fine. So I'll go to for this one, we can go output and we'll go high field output. Just select that one. Okay. And we'll save, save, I will save as TFF in this case, 16 bit and just specify file path. Okay. Let's go click. Okay. Okay. Next I want to go to, um, control. Okay, and right here, I want to actually pop up this to about 2048 or 49 in this case. So I want just to be a little bit higher resolution for that. Okay, when we're done, let's go to our file and we'll just go click on a build the world. Uh, depending on how fast is your machine, it can be built faster or a little bit slower. I'm going to pause tutorial and come back when build is completed. Okay, so right here, build is completed. We'll go ahead, click OK. Okay, actually, sorry, I forgot to export all. So right now it will save all of my files. So right here we have our export. And now I can close this. Uh, next part of tutorial, I'm going to use those beep maps inside the VU, just to show how to apply. You can use it in other tutorials, uh, in other applications as well. Um, in this set, uh, I probably include one to show you how you can use flat map with uh, for the Unity. So you can apply same effect to this. But overall, his tutorial, how he was creating a four different zones, included one global effect all together in one um, terrain map. And here we can preview. So you can see we have our mountain. And gorge we have it our peaks area we have it our terrain area terrace area and kind of low smooth terrace can apply easy to be a swampy or maybe some other effect and we still have it same river you can see same depth going for our water right around this area and come here so it's going to all of these four different areas zone Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember, this does on the web is www.geekatplay.com.